is the underdog of the race. Nobody's expecting it to be you know, powerful, strong, etc. And what we wanted to prove is the new Royal Enfield Motors as good as anything else out there and can compete with you know, the big dogs. Uh, we were really competitive and close at the Sultan's race and I think we blew some people away. They were like not expecting that. We just added a supercharger to it, but kept everything else standard. So it has the stereo, it has a license plate, we use it on the road, uh, but we can also uh, sprint race it as well. But you can take a stock road bike and kind of have some fun with it. You don't have to build something from scratch, you know, a prototype from scratch to, to go and sprint race or to go and ice race or, or dirt track. You can, you can just take a stock road bike, a few modifications and get it out there and have some fun, you know, and that's what the whole thing's about. It's just enjoying yourself and having some fun. have to be in this group because they are so crazy they have everything is built not bored this is really really interesting for me and that's important for me and uh, so I decided two years ago to uh, to build my own racing and, and sprint bike and uh, I love I love really sprint racing and uh, for me it's a, a one of my biggest adventures in my life I love it It's a very old one, it's from the 57, so <laughs> it's way older than my parents. <laughs> so I didn't expect to have a great chance and possibilities with um, all the other motorcycles that were more powerful and more and newer than mine. But for me it was, uh, uh, I don't know, a fight with myself, you know, uh, try just to, to see how, how capable I was of building a, such an old Harley and uh, everything is made in my little uh, garage. You know, I don't, I don't own a shop, I don't do that for work. So everything is handmade in the garage. So I'm already happy just to be here. We got close, obviously we had a few, few um, photo finishes, as you'd say, but uh, we had to rerun and unfortunately, I just hit the limiter, um, just the once, and yeah, that's 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 the end of the game for us. But uh, yeah, it was it was great, really good, uh, really good bike. Impressed with the uh, the Sim Rogers bike uh, that they've built in in very short period of time. Actually, it's running on race fuel, and it's got liquid nitrous um, nitrous oxide injection, which is something that we've been having to learn with and get the fueling right because it comes out as a liquid, expands in the chamber, and and it's quite difficult to get the fueling perfect. It doesn't normally have to look pretty because it just has to perform but in this case it had to look stunning, it had to look really different. So yeah, to designing a piece of motorsport equipment is always a great challenge for a designer and like the most enjoyable, more, more enjoyable than designing anything just to look pretty. It's really good. It's a moment of pride when I see, you know, the biggest boys and then Randy Mamola and stuff like that and we're neck to neck with them uh, sometimes really close to beating them and yeah it's, it's a pride you know like something that I can cherish for, for a long time to come <laughs>